Hello. So after talking about prisms, uh, we're here to talk about pyramids. What is pyramid? Well, pyramid means you have a shape at the bottom and then you have an apex and then you join uh, any point on the base and the apex with the line and then this line and the apex just go 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 and traces this um base shape so it forms sides like this like this like this this are all the sides form due to this tracing process and then this type of um three-dimensional objects are called pyramids this is a pyramid this is a pyramid. And but what about this one? This is a pyramid. Well, it is a special type of pyramid. It's called cool. So instead of having sides on its base, it doesn't have straight lines. It has a it is a curve. It is a circle. It is a circular base. Then how do we find uh then it's and then you have the from the apex. The apex just means it's the same as vertex. It just means this peak. This is a shock thing. And then it tries this base shape and then it forms this shape. This size. And that's pyramid and that's cone. These are the two things that we're gonna work with in this video. Hello, so we're back. So look at this. Just draw all of this. This is the pyramid. This is a triangular pyramid because its base is a triangle. That's why it's triangular pyramid. This is a rectangular pyramid because it has a rectangular base. This is just a cone because it has a circle base. And have you guys wondered, is there any relationship between pyramid and then prism? So this is prism. This is a um triangular prism. This is a triangular prism. They look pretty similar. Is there any relationship between the volumes? Well, I can tell you there definitely is. Because you can check my other video, my previous video. Um, I've proved using... Um, pouring coffee into a cone, and then you need three cones to fill up the um, cylinder with the exact same, exactly same base area and the height. So, for example, this one, they have the same um, base area, which is 20 cubic centimeter, uh, not cubic centimeter, which is 20 centimeter square, 20 centimeter square, and then the height of all 10 centimeters. So the height of a pyramid or cone is that you have a line from the vertex to the base, and this line must form a right angle with the base, or, or you can say perpendicular. Perpendicular to the base, which is basically forming a right angle. And then you can see that so the so relationship between the pyramid and the prism is that the prism is three times as large as the volume of the pyramid, which with the same base area and height. That means we can come up with this. What's the area for that one? It's pretty easy. Base times height. We've mentioned that. So it's 20 times 10. It's 200. Cubic centimeter. Then what's, uh, what's the volume of this? It's corresponding pyramid. Easy. You divide by 3. So we get 200 over 3 cubic centimeter, that's its volume. 
And it's the same thing with this one. It shows a, tri a rectangular base. We do the same thing and divide it by three. So do this one. They have the same height, same base area, same shape. And then we just calculate whatever the volume of this one is and divide it by three. So we get the every volume of this one. So let's come up with the proper e equation for the volume of the uh, pyramid. So it's a third times base times height. Yeah, base times height is the volume of the prism with the same base area and the height and then divide by three which tells you it's correct on the pyramid so that's how we find it but for corn for um, i mean it depends if you're trying to do a prism you just calculate whatever the triangle area is and times of a height divided by three it's the corner covered in a circle and times of a height and divided by three it's just it's the same thing you just need to calculate the area of the base times of a height divided by three you get the volume 